Woo, more knives. So I'm gonna go ahead and open some of these guys up. There might be some uh, clicking and stuff going on in the background. Hey, other people are at work. I'm just taking a break from work myself. So yeah, I got something from White Mountain and then some stuff from uh, Tucson that's been sitting in customs for like three weeks. Well, I'll start out with the uh, White Mountain knives here. Once I get to this top opened up, there we go. Okay, so we have a CJRB and a Civivi. And a whole bunch of uh, biodegradable uh, packing peanuts. Let's go ahead and take a look at the CJRB first. This is going to be a Feldspar, but it's a little bit different than your standard one. Oops. Yeah, that's pretty darn attractive. Yeah, this is a uh, red and black carbon fiber kind of stuff. Looks like it's uh, an onlay on G10, but uh, still really attractive. And this is the uh, the button lock guy for him. So this doesn't have the uh, the contoured scales like um, say. This one does, but this one also doesn't have the lock stick that uh, I have on this guy here. <laughs> Same steel, AR RPM 9, so that's pretty great. Uh, the pocket clip is pretty much, yeah, it's the same. It's just black. It's a little bit different. It actually ends with a curve up instead of uh, kind of coming back down like this guy does. Not exactly my favorite thing, but it is positioned in a place where it's not really bothering me, so that's cool. And kind of interesting to see uh, CGRB jumping on this uh, little uh, button lock bandwagon because it's, uh, well, it's kind of fun. This one feels nice. The uh, the button on it is probably blacked something or other, like aluminum or something like that. feels a bit plasticky compared to uh, the rest of them, but hey, this is definitely a budget knife. Alright, yeah, pretty interesting. And then the Civivi. Let's see, this should be the Chevalier. Let me get my knife actually in there. There we go. Aha. Yep, we got the normal accoutrements. So. Little instruction thing and a uh, little microfiber cloth, little thing to tell you to review, and an elementum sticker, I guess, because well, that's what the baby is pretty much known for these days. And uh, yeah, this one's pretty darn cool. Hey, it's got a hair on it, and it's not actually mine. <laughs> oh well. So yeah, this is the Chevalier. This is a, uh, a button lock from Civivi. Um, since the uh, the other one that they had recently come out with didn't really interest me all that much, this one kind of did. And I figured I would uh, give it a shot in the uh, Cabortia wood. How the hell you actually pronounce that one? It's got a lot of extra letters that make it seem like there's a whole bunch of syllables there. But yeah, pretty interesting little um, sheep's foot guy. Does remind me of a uh, couple other knives. But uh, yeah, I do like the blade shape there. Uh, that fuller, obviously great on it. And it's not their um, their elementum button lock, so you can flip it open instead of uh, having that button lock it down. But that also means that there's going to be a spring in here rather than that... Uh, liner bar doing that but yeah super easy to uh flick that guy out reverse with uh the index finger which i i enjoy doing when i can on a knife and of course you know the reverse spidey flick and hey yeah you can even roll that out super nice stone wash on this thing uh this one looks like it's probably hidden somewhere or well, no, but this is a 14C28N on this one, so not Nitro-V, which 
I kind of would have uh, preferred just because I don't have nearly as many nines in Nitro V as I do 14C, but uh, oh well. Still, super nice knife. Both of those are pretty sweet. So I'll move some of this stuff out the way. I'll also move the old Feldspar out of the way here. All right, and then these are a couple of Tucson's as you probably expected from the, uh, the little envelope here. I don't know which one is which, so I'll just go ahead and open one up. Aha, this is the Bronk, which uh, I'd wanted for a while, but uh, for whatever reason, this thing is always expensive. I finally got it for uh, under a hundred bucks, so you know, that's better than I've uh, been seeing them, but yeah, so this is a uh, Tepe design, and, uh, oh, Matt, uh, Sysmansky, there we go, there it is, yeah, number 429 on this, it's, uh, S90V, and this is, a uh, purchased from Tucson rather recently, so this isn't going to be some of their, uh, older S90V, their new stuff seems to be, uh, a little bit better than the heat treat. It's, you know, not, um, it, it definitely ain't custom level, but, uh, definitely better than it used to be. All right, we got this pocket clip, some interesting, uh, relief going on on the inside of that. That's pretty cool. And it looks like, uh, hey, this is a titanium liner with a steel insert. The only other one I have like that right now is the, uh, TS-50. Fifty sounds right. Where the hell it might actually be. That was right. Yeah. TS-50. It's also got titanium liners. So yeah, this is not a new design by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, yep, as you can see, it's the 204. Uh, Tepe design, uh, the name, the Bronc, or B-R-O-N-C, uh, was apparently, um, coined and, um, uh, approved by, uh, Tepe, or, yeah, Mr. Shan over at, uh, Tepe Designs, um, from, uh, Lee at LTK, so, yeah, there you go. Sing, that was another thing that, uh, kind of put me off on it for a while, is, um, it's a little small, but, uh, hey, this thing actually works out quite well. Does It's a three and a half finger grip, but I still do feel all that strength on my pinky. So I really appreciate that. This thing is not thin. <laughs> yeah, it's fairly thick. But, yeah, we got white G10 and carbon fiber there. Uh, pretty interesting combination. I do like white G10. This thing feels stupid heavy. Oh, okay. That would be why. I'm surprised this actually fits in a box. It is slick with things and stuff. Where did my, there we are over here. Blam. Yeah, this is the 390. It's a Keanu design. I'm not familiar with that person or that designer myself. Yep, this is the uh, first knife that I've seen from him. It's the first one that they've done with Tucson for sure. Uh, this is a beastly knife. Uh, I would venture to just call this kind of just a slightly recurve sheep's foot with a chisel tip on it, but I suppose you could call it a really, really blunt uh, tonto going on there. Hey, we got jumping way up here. Might help if you're uh, 
trying to get a little bit of uh, extra stuff going on there for that uh, top thing. Ground pretty nicely too, so that's great. Great to see. This is in D2. Apparently this one's numbered also at 88. Yeah, I'm really surprised that I actually fit in one of these smaller boxes. Uh, they have done uh, a little bit larger box for uh, a couple others, like the Vandal and stuff. But uh, there we are. Yeah, this thing is enormous. But I knew that, of course, beforehand. Man, look at the ramp on that clip. It's going to be... Uh, Quite easy to get in and out of the pocket, though, so that's great. It does have just that hole punch for the lanyard. Not my favorite thing in the world. But, uh, oh well. We do have internal uh, lock bar relief on it, though, so that's pretty cool. It does keep this nice and flat. And, yeah, I really do like it in the hand. It's got uh, that reverse jimping there, so... Uh, Helps out uh, with your index finger if you are grabbing it in a reverse hammer grip. And a uh, really long throw here on the back of the handle. Really nice and comfortable for the, uh, the grip there. Yeah, that was a, this is a large chunk of metal. That is for sure. Again, not quite sure what the, uh, the coating is on this. But it looks more like a, a tumbled after... Uh, PVD kind of coating on there. Definitely doesn't have that chalkboard feel that you get out of a uh, a lot of Cerakotes. Not all of them. It depends on if they uh, actually do any of the polishing afterwards and uh, the particular ceramic compound that they do on here. But yeah, so this is uh, probably going to be quite durable as far as the coating goes on there. But yeah, so there's the uh, what was this, 390? Yeah, we got the TS-390, we got the TS-204, another classic one that uh, I've recently wanted to pick up, so there's that. We got the uh, Civivi Chevalier, and the CJRB Feldspar in um, ARRPM9. It is kind of interesting with uh, this one being like this. It feels a lot more like the, uh, the Centros, which is... Uh, well, they're fairly similar. Uh, yeah, here's the uh, the feldspar that uh, CGRB created in house, but this was um, Centros that uh, Dylan Mallory designed for them uh, first, and it looks like it takes a lot of um, a lot of design cues from it. Obviously, we got a taller blade, stuff like that, but a lot of the other stuff there is good. This one also has. Some crazy amounts of box stick. I don't know why their micartas um, have done that. At least their uh, their Rhea and micarta doesn't uh, give me any lock stick, so that's nice. <laughs> but yeah, I really do like how that looks. I'm sure uh, that something like this will probably become more and more more and more prominent on. Um, uh, cheaper knife designs as uh, time goes on and probably using something like a little bit more gold instead of uh, silver or something like that as well because hey, once that technology is out there then uh, a lot of companies will probably end up jumping on there but yeah it looks really attractive yeah you can see oh I'm really way up on there but uh, yeah you can see that this is definitely Inlaid in there, and maybe not the uh, the absolute best fit and finish as far as some of that stuff goes. Oh, that's okay. Button lock feels super nice on it, though, so that's great. It's not uh, recessed or has anything else around that, so if that's something that uh, does worry you, then, uh, you know, CVVs do uh, kind of do that, but uh, yeah, still the same amount of pressure that you need for all of that stuff. Alrighty, well, I will uh, get out of your hair, and uh, I don't know if it's going to be at the beginning or the end of uh, the other video, but uh, someone did actually uh, send me a uh, Tucson fidget spinner. This is the the one that has uh, little screwdriver bits in it. Hooray. 
But all right, as always, I appreciate y'all for watching and have yourself a wonderful rest of your day. Go. Well, I didn't really expect to make a video today, but uh, something actually came in here. I won't flip it over because it still has uh, both there and my uh, address information on it. But uh, yes, this is from a, a viewer here on the channel. Uh, Harry, I don't really necessarily know if um, you want to go by anything else or uh, if you don't want to be mentioned any further. But uh, either way, uh, this person reached out to me. Uh, and offered me one of the, uh, the two sun, uh, fidget spinners, which I was, I've been kind of looking for and they've been long since discontinued. So that's awesome. He, uh, decided that, uh, he had one, wasn't really using it and wanted to send it along. Uh, I don't know what else is in the box though, or bubble mailer as it may be, but, uh, yeah, I suppose we'll, uh, we'll all find out together. Here's my little, uh, new Benchmade bug out. Why not? All right, I got two sun books. Yeah, okay. So I uh, have a two sun knife, but this is definitely what I want to look at first here. Oh, that's cute. Yep, them some smooth bearings. Jeez, really smooth bearings. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, they did make a few of these. Uh, I honestly don't know which model number this is. I'll probably try and find out at some point here. Uh, but this also doubles as a uh, little screwdriver bit holder. As we can see, it kind of came with a, uh, looks like T8 and T6. That would make the most sense for Tucson. And sure, another one. So maybe T7, T6, and T8? I don't know. But uh, yeah, that's super awesome. Glad I can finally uh, play around with one of these things here. I've never uh, really owned any fidget spinners or anything, but uh, hey, I like Tucson as a brand in general. I've had a whole bunch of stuff, including some of their uh, funky, um, oh, box openers and a whole bunch of pens and stuff like that. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty sweet. Let's see, what is in this box? Well, there's a couple of things in this box here. We got, uh, we got a titanium pry bar with, uh, I think he did actually mention this. Yeah, yeah after the fact. Uh, this is a titanium pry bar. Little custom anodization job there with uh, the different uh, color gradients. So it's pretty cool. I suppose it's got that on the end there for a little key ring. This guy's actually pretty ergonomic for uh, what it is. I don't honestly use pry bars. Haven't really had a huge need for them, but uh, man, this is super sweet. So yeah, I appreciate it. And what do we have here? It looks like one of their... Uh, Okay, it's a 16. Ah, it's a 16 and it's got just a little tiny bit of lock rock on them. Okay. This was something that they alluded to. I'll see if I can't try to do anything about that. I haven't been uh, super great at remedying uh, lock rock yet. But, uh, hey, at least I can, uh, give it a shot. And, um, <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, here's my TS-16. No luck, right? But, yeah, so, same D2 night morning design. Same G10 stuff here. This was actually my first Tucson ever purchased. Bought it kind of on a whim, uh, seeing it on Amazon. And uh, that was pretty sweet. Got it in, and uh, while this still isn't my favorite model by any stretch of the imagination, um, it did kind of uh, get me interested to see what else kind of was out there from the brand. And then, well, 
all crap hit the fan when uh, I found out all that stuff on uh, eBay and uh, everything else with it. Yep, this guy's detent is uh, very, very late. They, they always kind of are. It's definitely why it has a uh, detent ramp on it. Uh, yeah, this should be fun to uh, try and uh, fix up a little bit. See how that'll end up going. And uh, yeah, a little uh, fidget spinner guy here. And of course that uh, custom anodized pry bar. So hey, I really appreciate it. I, you know, uh, this is the first um, kind of package I've uh, really got from uh, a viewer or anybody else that's uh, knife related. And, uh, yeah, I'm certainly not, you know, begging anybody to, uh, send me things or, or anything like that. But, uh, hey, I really appreciate it. This is, uh, all sorts of, uh, interesting and fun stuff. So, uh, yeah, well, there's not a whole lot else left to go on here. Um, you know, I'll probably do an update video on, uh, what I can do with, uh, the, uh, the lock rock that we got going on here. Because, yeah, I don't really feel side to side play at all on this so all right well as always i appreciate y'all for watching and have yourself a wonderful rest of your day yo